Hey, you guys, welcome back to Married to Film. Listen, here's part three. It's not that we don't know you. The point is, we don't know you. Right. <laughs> Invite us to the lighthouse. What the hell? Wait, was she pimping yeah. the girl? I think so. Oh, that's, that's her daddy. daddy. Well, yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh-oh. If he hit her, I'm a hot Why'd you do it? Mm. Do what? Don't. Is he not even happy to be out? Russ was a fucking rat. Bullshit. This was in his trailer. <laughs> all right. He was asking me all sorts of questions about stealing money and killing Marty Bird. Mm. You say anything? Wow. I didn't say shit. They were my fucking brothers. I'm your fucking daughter. Right. I don't know who he was working with, but he was gonna pin me for fucking murder and he was on his way to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'm happy to see you and I'm happy to be out. I love you, nothing. Next time, give me a fucking blonde. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, down there is a grown up laying more man if I ever seen oh. you. You were just doing the tadpole last time I seen you. <laughs> Welcome home, Look Uncle at Pete. him. Yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Whoa! Your dad and Uncle are here for us all to be together, but uh, I promise in my honor, I'm going to do right by you in their memory. I can't believe how big you both are. Get over here. Is he going to show us some form of affection, finally? It's about the nicest thing i ever seen. Charles Wilkes is throwing the benefit for his charity tonight in Kansas City. I bought a table. Oh! You bought a table? You know, the second you get back around politics, you get this look. <laughs> <laughs> no one drives four hours to tell someone to stay away. It's like calling someone and saying you never want to speak to them again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a warning. You just wanted to see it. It was an invitation. Got it. Sorry, I meant to get to you this morning. It's okay. And my dad just came home. Sure. So, been busy. You didn't bring me a corsage or some shit, did you? <laughs> no, we got a thing. You must be Martin Bird. Hi, you're Cade? Yes, I am. Hi there. Hi. Just want to say thank you very much for taking care of my baby girl while I was away. Yeah, well, you know, she's, uh, um, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> for what? For getting out. Well, you know, she, uh... I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's good to be free. All bad. Yeah. Anyway, you look like a man with things to do, so I'm gonna let you two talk, and, uh... Yeah, you have a good night. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. we're, we're not partners, okay? I'm not gonna be held hostage just because of what you did for me. You understand? <laughs> okay. So, besides that, tell me what you want. Rice. That you can do. How much? 10 G's. 25 grand a year. Oh, okay. Okay, done. Um, anything else? Should say a third. Mm -hmm. I want to learn how to use the books. There you go. Sure. What else? That's it. Well, um, we just opened up a new office to help manage the other businesses. You want to work there a couple days a week? I can show you the ropes. Come on through. <laughs> okay. Sound good? We take tomorrow off, hang out with your dad. We need to start day after tomorrow. See you in there. 
Yeah. Good. Oh, Marty Bird. Oh, I'm so, I'm so sorry. sorry. Please excuse oh, me. Pardon, I'm so no, no, I'm you're, sorry. we're fine. We're fine. It's my fault. No, so I'm, where I'm going. Good Lord. Oh. I apologize. <laughs> That's Saint Jerome. Is that Saint Jerome Emiliani? I, yeah, my mother gave it to me. It's it's silly, but it, it means something to me. It's a Wendy Bird. Wendy Bird. You spent fifty thousand dollars on a table. I'm very impressed. Do you know the names of everybody who donated here? Oh. Knowing people's names seems like the bare minimum for the price of admission, right? I should introduce you to my husband. I'd love to meet him. Can I get your name? Right. Or you already know who he is. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. We're trying to conduct this investigation as discreetly as possible. I'm sure you understand. Well, part of I can't do that is so fucking confusing. Mm. You're about to kill him. Don't kill me. <laughs> Get it! <laughs> uh oh. What now? What I that sound? No, that's the dude that killed the dude liquor store. You lied. This is Dell's credit card being used in Chicago. She could recognize that gentleman. He's rather distinctive. Distinctively not Dell. I, I have no idea. Oh, please. For both our sakes. You know, you're not a killer. You're a businessman. Right. Which is why we are giving you an hour to negotiate reparations for Dell's death. Wow. One hour? Mm-hmm. After that, I have to leave it to my associates outside. Dell was completely out of line. We had a, a deal made and then he started insulting the snails. Oh, I don't doubt that. I knew Dell. Nevertheless. What kind of deal are you willing to accept? I'll know it when I hear it. What is he asking for? Fair reparations. The man violated a code. The man was a top lieutenant at a billion dollar business. I think you should offer them five million dollars. For that Mexican man? Oh, Dale had a wife and two children. They're better off without him. We can't leave here without a solution. Giving away our crop for free goes against the backbone of this deal. You shot the man's fucking head off. <laughs> man violates a code. Yeah, that's the price. But it's not ours to pay. The cartel has more men and more guns than you could ever have. And if it doesn't happen, he kill his wife. They will, they'll just send more men. Yep. More and more and more. So I'm, yep. I'm begging you. Yep. We are begging you. We have two children. So I'm just That's I'm, reparations. I'm asking, just just, uh, just body, see body. this through. Just just think it through. Ash, escort them out. Get them in. Oh, oh. 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 Ash is dead. She complimented her a lot just to the first place. Why, Why Jacob? You killed her man, Don't leave. This was the only thing that's gonna make it right. Mm -hmm. You know it. Uh -huh. Now go get your mix again. <laughs> Is that what we wanted? We didn't want anything. No, 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 no. Is that your dad? Mm-hmm. Please wake up. What did he want? Marty. Who? 
bird. Mm -hmm. Why do you show up here like that? I asked him for a raise. <clears throat> what did he say? He said yes. You just remember, he ain't your daddy. So one of season two. Okay, so a season opener, which mm -hmm. was uh, pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty darn good. Um, I got to take a moment to think, but if you want to start, you can, because I got to think of everything take that happened. Take all the time you need. All I'm going to say is that my top, my things on the top, on the top was a bow tie, obviously. Oh crap! Oh, and it was a lamp, meaning the the the, the wire. Okay, so I crowbar. And, and there was a, a crowbar and a fire. Oh yeah, yeah. the log. Your yeah, log fire. Yep. Yay! I'm glad you remember because <laughs> the last couple times I had to help you remember mm -hmm. yours, so I mm -hmm. completely forgot. So bow tie the dinner it started off with. Oh, and that made me remember. You're very good. I like you. I like you a lot. <laughs> so we had the bow tie. What was your other thing? Lamp for the wire. Lamp for the wire, and then the bow tie and then the log. So it started from the crowbar and the log. Crowbar and the log. Yeah, crowbar and the log. Blech. So it started with um, Marty and Wendy at a dinner party in um, Kansas, and I was thinking that it was a flashback. I don't know mm. if you thought the same. Um, and they were talking while they were dancing and um, talking about where to move to when all of this was over. This meaning what was going on currently um, with them, with the money and everything and all blah, blah, blah. They, they were dancing all around and um, once she got someone in her view, he said, you got him? You got him? And she said, yeah. So we want to assume that this was Mr. Wilkes. Right. Um, and he was at the bar. So it went from that to going on to the story of how that day began in the first place. And it started pretty um, weird, but I'm glad it started the way it did because we now know uh, Rachel's gone now. Rachel yeah. done, she done skipped town and everything. Mm -hmm. And Tuck was like, hey, everything's locked, mm -hmm. okay? And uh, listen, and it was locked yesterday. So <laughs> Marty was like, okay, so what's going on? You talked to Rachel. He said, no, it went straight to voicemail. And um, he was like, hmm. So he was looking at the cabin, went in there, noticed that the, the bottom layer of the wall was ripped out and all the money is gone. Mm -hmm. Nugget, the kids also have, well, Charlotte took 10,000. Mm -hmm. Now listen, Charlotte, Confessed to her 10000 gave him half. Who's to say Jonah didn't take none either? That's true. <laughs> so Marty's thing for the household was that from here on out, everything has to be told. Everything has to be said as a family. Where you're going, where you're going to be, blah, blah, blah. Everything has to be 100% uh, shameless. No, no pointing fingers. Everybody knows where they're going to be. Be accountable for yourselves and blah, blah, blah. Buddy is there. And he's now a part of the family because, listen, he done killed the daggone uh, 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 cartel dude. Cartel dude. Um, Garcia. So, Garcia. Yeah, thank you. Garcia. Um, they were in um, installing a alarm system for them, which is something that I, they should have had. But I guess where they are located in Ozark, you would never think that nobody would want to come mm. in there. And it looked like Buddy is pretty... Uh, Handy with the gun, so I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure nobody wanted to come and see him. Buddy has a past. Buddy does have a past. So they're all talking about their morning, blah, 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 blah. Um, their morning routine and, you know, what say you, blah, blah, blah. And um, Snell and them come, and it's time for a meeting for them to negotiate about the casino. They meet with a lawyer. Which I don't who know. Who we think is the main Who main I think boss. that's probably the boss of the boss of the bosses. 
Um, but she comes in. They say it's going to be 80-20. Either way, Snell was like, and either way you look at it, that's not a partnership. Not a partnership. So we're not going to be, you know, pretty good with that, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Marty over there in the corner doing what he does best. And he said, well, you know, he's talking a good game. He was like, I know what we're supposed to do here. I want 3%. Because they know now that Rachel done took some of that money. So that 3% mm -hmm. that they're claiming should care, should cover that part that's missing. Mm -hmm. um, let me see, 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 let me see. Oh, goodness, plug in. I don't forget. Um, I forgot the arrangement that they left with. Yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, yeah, that's what I'm, that's what I'm remember. drawing That's what I remember is him saying he get 3% is what I remember. That's but, all I remember. Um, I but, don't think it was a deal. But they brought up Garcia, I mean Del Rio, um, not answering his calls as they were leaving. You know, she was trying to find out where he was. And, and he said Chicago. Well, was, he said he wasn't he supposed to be here? I don't yeah, he didn't know. Him. Right, 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 right. But she, she also found out that he was in Chicago. That mm -hmm. was the last thing that they swiped up. Mm -hmm. Um, which we found out that uh, Big Boy Nash. he was the one that took the cards, took his uh, bank card, his cell phone and everything um, they buried them put the, the liquid stuff on there the, what is it called? I can't remember Whatever. the same thing they use in Breaking Bad yeah. um, they put it in the hole to get rid of the body and the mm -hmm. flesh and everything blah 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 and buried them. So he had the the, the the credit cards and all that kind of stuff. And went to Chicago. She retrieves the, uh, the, the, the attorney retrieves the tape and says, okay. By force. By, by force. <laughs> well, she got back in the car and was right. like, okay. I don't even think she had a tap on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Um, the driver is also the, the, the killer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why is that always the case? But um, so he comes out, uh, shoots the poor boy two times, and gets the hard drive so that they can figure out who used it. Uh, the card found out it was Ash. Uh, they coming from the benefit in which they uh took some time <laughs> to get it in. Uh, to do um that grown up thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag clean loving. Okay, hashtag clean loving. In the car, she done bumped her head. She said, it's okay. Keep on going. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, they get Marty and, and Wendy in the back of the car. They talking to them. Talking. They talking to them. Saying, negotiation, let's do it. Because we know that Dale didn't use his car mm -hmm. in Chicago. Here's the proof. Mm -hmm. So you got an hour to get, to get a deal. What was the word that she used, though? I can't mm. remember. Oh, we drawing a blank for real. Right. Um. So they go to the <laughs> they go to the house. Marty and Wendy go to the snail house, and they trying to talk them out of um, telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Like for real, this is what's going on. He was like. And that wife, goodness mm. gracious, gracious, Snail's wife, she was like, bring them. Tell the Mexicans to come on through. <laughs> Tell them to pull up. <laughs> she was ready. I mean, she'd be on 45 all the time. Right. She was like, I don't care. <laughs> Jacob, I know he'd be wanting to like, oh, God, woman. <laughs> but you know what? He made a good comment because, let me rewind it, because he did say something to uh, Marty when they when they was meeting each other, <laughs> the wife gave uh, Wendy some homemade uh, honey. honey, right, <laughs> in a jar. So they was walking off. He said, "I assume that your wife knows." And he said, "Yeah." He said, "Well," he said, "It's always a good thing." He said, "Blessed is the man. <laughs> Blessed is the man that has something that uh um uh, can hold that type of thing with the wife or something like that." And I was like, "Oh my gosh, yeah," because he's getting. He's getting the flex right now. Mm -hmm. The flux. The flux. Flux, flux right now. Mm -hmm. Um, 
But they in the house. They trying to negotiate what's going on, blah, blah, blah. Listen, tell the Mexicans that you did it. You could take, uh, what do you say? You don't have give to take the money. Give them five them. million. And they was talking them down. And, and mm. the wife was like, no, that shows our weakness if we, you know, give them money because of what happened. She was the one that pulled the trigger. Right. So I was telling Ralph, I said, I think he's going to kill his wife, but he didn't. He killed Ash instead. Top lieutenant for a top lieutenant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess so. I for an eye, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. Um, I don't like Ruth's dad. He's, he's going to be trouble. He's creepy. Yeah. He's creepy. He just. Yeah, yeah he's. Yeah, he giving me those bad daddy vibes. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, he was in jail. He could, you know, he can come from that. He can rise from the ashes from that. But the way he was looking at her and then collapsing the bed with her, um, Daddy, I'm gonna need you to go on back to jail. <laughs> he might be jealous of uh, Marty and how he's treating Ruth or something. I don't know. And oh, his, his comment, the way yeah, he said it. Yeah. Mm. I know. I know. Uh, Ruth probably trusts Marty a lot now. He tr she trusts him a, a lot. lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you would you would think I'm sorry. I'm he he gave her a raise. He's gonna teach her things. He said you know just take tomorrow off, be with your dad, and yep. after that, show you the ropes how to do books and stuff. So he's like yeah, bringing her along. You know you know she was ecstatic, but didn't want to really show it. She didn't really. Yeah. Because I don't ecstatic. think she knows how to. Yeah, but she was ecstatic. You know that he said yeah, you get it, you get, yeah. get your raise. Oh yeah, and then it also showed. I'm sorry, we left out the one of the big parts that she was in front of the uh uh parole board oh yeah for her dad for yeah. her dad and was saying the reason why she feels the way she does now and i think that was the marty feeling that she was trying to mm -hmm. give but she was actually evoking right there that that's the way she was feeling because she wants to do better mm -hmm. you know and all that kind of stuff and i think that was the relationship that her and marty has mm -hmm. he don't know that though mm -hmm. but she idolizes him she really looks at him like okay you're you're your dad you're in a bind this is what you're doing i, mm -hmm. I think i pointed that out mm -hmm. the last one but yeah, she's feeling him as far as a father, he, a real father. This mm -hmm. is what she wanted. Um, and she actually said that. She was like, uh, my cousins are now without a father. And she said, that's not what I want them to experience. I want them to have a better life. And But it was a parole board for him to be released. Mm -hmm. And um, she, he did get released. And then she she hooked him up with one of her girls at the, mm -hmm. at the place after she done beat her up, <laughs> practically. Um, but yeah, I thought it was... Um, this was a really, really good episode, mm -hmm. and it was a good way to start off the season mm -hmm. um, premiere. I mean, as far as the, the second season. So that was a really good episode. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's... Oh, I know it's something else that I'm missing, but... We covered a lot, though. Yeah, it was pretty much that. It was a lot more stuff in depth, like their conversations. Mm -hmm. um, just, the real, just, just to point out that their relationship is getting better mm -hmm. as far as husband and wife. He did say when he thought that stuff was about to hit the hit the fan he did say he loved her mm -hmm. she didn't say it back she hung up the phone mm -hmm. but you know it was just getting to that point it was almost like the first episode i don't know if it was the first episode or second episode i'm sorry i'm really talking of um when he was gonna kill himself mm -hmm. and she was shaking and she didn't know what to do she was like oh my god you know she still loves him it's just that the, the relationship is sort of awkward so let us know what you guys saw that episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Charlotte came in late and the alarm went out. Yeah. Sorry. Want to know why she can't break curfew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. So we'll see y'all next time. <laughs> Don't forget to put on that, click that notification bell so you know when we release a video because YouTube is tripping a lot. So whenever uh -oh. I can get the video out there is mm -hmm. when it comes. I try mm -hmm. to be on the schedule, but YouTube doesn't allow that. So we'll see y'all next time. <laughs> we love you guys. No love spoilers. Be safe. Wake up! Thank you.